Uh, today I'm going to show you how I changed the battery on a Datamax Sport by Oceanic with the non-user changeable battery. Uh, what I'm going to do is unscrew this. Pretty simple. Uh, I don't put them on super duper tight, but uh, if it's from the factory, it will be super duper tight, so you need one of these. The old strap wrench. Works great. Um, take your fingernail and just, you know, pop it open. Be real careful because there is that little band in there, and uh, you can break that, and that's no gusto. Now, what I like to do is take a pair of locking pliers and adjust them to hold the little plate. Now you're not trying to crush anything, so just just enough to hold it so there's not a lot of tension on that band. So I guess I'll flip this around to give you guys a better, better view. All right, now this is my little power supply that I built. It's pretty simple. Uh, just a two AA battery holder with uh, positive and negative alligator clips. And that'll supply three volts, which this battery is 3.6, so it'll have enough. Uh, yeah, put them on like that. That's pretty good clamping power. Okay, so you got them both connected. You want to take like a little screwdriver or, you know, whatever, and then push down on one of the terminals and uh, kind of pry the battery up. Got it. Alrighty. So there's your battery. And if I tilt this up and push the power button you can see it goes into the self-diagnostic mode and it starts counting down and then it'll jump into surface mode okay and then you can either you know run to the store now or grab your battery that you already bought and install it in the same manner but reversed so just plop it down in there Make sure it's fully seated. Take your alligator clips off. See, it's still in surface mode. Disconnect your locking pliers. Uh, I already lubed up the O-ring, but put some silicone grease on the O-ring, make sure Everything's good with that. You might want to inspect the threads on this clear part here for any cracking. That's been known to happen. Surprisingly though, it won't leak. Or, well, the one guy I knew that had it crack, it, his didn't leak. So then you screw it on, get it tight, and there you go. That's your battery replacement for the non-user replaceable Oceanic dive computer. Uh, the battery, this unit was made in 02 of 93. The battery that I pulled out of it was from 92. So when I would turn it on, it would try to go into the self-diagnostic mode for maybe a second and then die. 